Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome back to the channel where we are going to be uh, continuing our uh, exploration on SwiftUI 4 and iOS 16 uh, features that were released in uh, WWDC 2022. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about stacked bars. So stacked bar charts are basically used uh, when we want to show a comparison between categories. Uh, so typically the bars are proportional to the value uh, they represent and uh, they can be plotted either horizontally or vertically. Uh, and one axis of the chart uh, shows uh, the specific um, category that's being compared uh, and the other axis shows the discrete value just like our um, our other quantitative and uh, nominal values okay so today we're going to be building a stacked bar chart using apple's new and newly introduced chart framework in swift ui4 and ios 16 and um, Basically, if you want to learn more about uh, charts, uh, check out the previous video. I'll link it uh, in the description where you can uh, basically go into building a, a basic chart of like basic to advanced chart, uh, essentially um, uh, using a bar chart example in Swift UI 4. Okay, so we'll start with a data structure once again, and uh, we want to actually build a data structure where we're going to plot DevTechies courses platform where the courses are published and number of students on each uh, platform. So we're going to start with an enum. Um, we're going to create a course category <coughs> of type string, and then we're going to create uh, cases. So we're going to start with UI kit which is going to be UI kit. So to UI. All right. So this is our basically uh, course uh, category and some examples and uh, then we're going to create a course source so platform at which like you know this uh, uh, these courses are uh, available um, and we're going to start with YouTube I'm going to quickly format it. Uh, there we go. And um, all right. So I do see, uh, let's see. I don't know why it's not formatted properly, but we will see. Let me go ahead and build to make sure. And uh, there is some issue. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what these are. Uh, Okay, build succeeded. Okay, all right, let's try it. Okay, um, all right, so our content is still, content view or like, you know, this view is still loading right here on the previous side, so that's good. Now we're gonna create our data structure basically using these two enums. Uh, so we're gonna create a struct um, that the key course is gonna be a conforming to identifiable protocol so we can easily loop into that and each row can be identified uniquely okay we're gonna have students and uh, it's gonna be double we're gonna have category so it's gonna be dd course category and uh, source dt course source okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paste some uh, sample data and uh, uh, the sample data is gonna be in the extension tab techie um, course I'm going to name that and uh, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, let's fix these. All right. Okay. Let me go. Uh, let me go ahead and go ahead and build this. 
um, it's building is okay build is still going on build succeeded and we are good to go now once we have the data ready all we got to do is put together the chart view together and uh, plot these values onto the chart so swift ui uh, will from there on uh, take care of displaying that based on the provided data now we will use student number as quantitative value and the platform source as the nominal value so um, we'll also make sure that each uh, that each of the stack bar uh, is styled using the courses uh, category okay uh, that way like you know swift ui can basically color them and we can like basically distinguish which uh, part of the stack belongs where okay so we're going to go into our um, content view right below the text tab techie we are going to basically have um, another text uh, basically expressing the intent so a number of students per platform okay and um, then we're gonna actually give this a font sub headline foreground color uh, let's mark it secondary uh, and secondary and this is gonna be primary like so all right and then we're gonna create a chart okay chart is gonna be uh, dev techie course dot data all right uh, and because data is identifiable so we don't have to like you know basically provide an id for this um, just like we do it in for each uh, sometimes when we have like you know data does not that does not have uh, that does not conform to identifiable protocol or it's like you know a an array of string or integer and stuff like that we actually simply put um id and kind of like that we don't have to provide that key pass um, because our data structure itself uh, conforms to identifiable protocol now we get access to each course okay so with each course we're gonna actually take and draw a bar mark and uh, if you don't know what bar marks are uh, once again check out the course uh, listed in the description because it has more information about the basics of newly introduced chart framework I'm gonna display students here course dot students and for the why i'm gonna have value with label source and um, course dot source dot raw value because that's a nominal value we're gonna use that as a label all right and uh, for the foreground uh, we are going to uh, style our foreground by the category so we're gonna say category and this category is going to be course dot category dot raw value okay so with that change let's go ahead and resume our preview and uh, see what we've got so far all right so this is what we have we as you can see our our stacked bar basically are displayed with these uh, values now we can actually swap these so let me go ahead and like try to swap uh, i haven't checked it out actually so i don't know what's gonna look like so let's see like you know if it changes okay so it changes like you know the way we were expecting we have like you know swift ui uh, displayed in blue we have um ui kit displayed in green and we have machine learning displayed in uh, orange for each of these stacks so uh, these numbers are total so as you can see our plot or the graph uh range has increased to accommodate combining all these values into a uh, single like you know stack right now i'm gonna go back uh because i like the other look uh this is a little bit better uh and uh, i also want to uh basically uh, put a frame uh for this chart uh to make sure the height is um maybe 300 points so it looks a little bit better there and um i do want to add uh, annotation because right now these values i mean they are relevant we have some ideas that this is close to 2000 but i don't know what these values are going to be right so for that we can actually decorate this with an annotation and uh, annotation is gonna be a text which is going to have course dot students dot formatted with font 
of caption.bold okay now as you can see like the or the the annotations are just being displayed at the top um, now we can actually define the position by using the position parameter so we're gonna say position is gonna be overlay so i want to overlay that and there you have it you have like you know all the details how many students each platform has all of them are listed and they're visually plotted in this uh, stacked bar chart and once again this is completely natively built um, using swift ui charts all right with that we have reached the end of this video once again if you like the video please make sure to subscribe like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel check out devtechie.com because we have a lot of content there for you to consume and um and like you know it's like a lot of content in swift ui ui kit and all that all that good stuff and um i will see you guys in another video we're gonna where we're gonna continue our exploration for swift ui 4 okay thank you so much once again for watching and i will see you guys in another video